today we need to look at the S&P 500 once again. Uh, as much as the economic reality, both from an economic uh, slowing perspective as well as top and bottom line corporate profits, which have been slowing year over year, as much as a sustainable breakout in the S&P 500 above the 2015 highs isn't really something that's possible through that lens. From a, from a momentum perspective and basically just bears getting scared, we have to respect the possibility of that. If you've been watching my vlog, just a couple of weeks ago I discussed that the S&P 500 was basically sort of uh, on a cliff and you can uh, watch the video here above. And that remains my base case that I don't think the S&P can actually hold a sustainable breakout to new, new highs. But if we even just get a multi-week move to the upside, it could be quite, uh, quite vicious and something that we need to respect and most likely actually from an active investor perspective probably should be able to participate in. Of course, this week with the uh, Brexit vote, that's another little bit of a thing that we have to deal with and all that could make things tricky. So the, the, the important, important point today and the lesson is to keep an open mind. So let's have a look at the chart. So if we now look at the S&P 500 on the chart, we can see and contextualize this whole thing a little bit better. First of all, let's not forget that the S&P basically since late 2014 has kind of been stuck in a range. And for the most part, that range we can kind of uh, mark like this. Very simply, the most of the pricing action has basically from the top end been taking place within 2130 down to about 2025. That's a very, very tight trading range. Of course, we had the two outliers, which were basically August 2015 into, let's say, October 2015, and then again, January of this year into March of this year. But aside from that, we are just kind of going sideways. Now, now let's get rid of some of this stuff and get back to a very basic rule of mine, which, uh, which, which I hold a lot of, uh, a lot of credibility to. And essentially, that rule goes as follows. The more often a line of resistance in this case is tested, the higher the probability ultimately is of a break to the upside. Now, that break to the upside doesn't have to be permanent. In fact, again, as I said before, from an economic perspective and what we're seeing in corporate top and bottom lines, I think a sustainable breakout from here does seem very unlikely, but the technicals dictate that maybe, just maybe, we might be able to break to new highs. Maybe you go to 2160, maybe 2200, something like that, before we then ultimately have a better correction. So I wanted to shed a little bit of light on what the S&P has been doing versus sort of the reality of what we're seeing in the economy. And as perverse as this might be, from an active investing and trading perspective, if we can see a break in the S&P, let's say, uh, we can stay above 2100 and get into 2200 at the most or so. That's a 5% move in the S&P that I think is worth trading and worth respecting. Also, guys, this Wednesday, June the 22nd at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific, we are holding a special webinar. I'm presenting Steady Income Using Options, where I'm going to go over great detail uh, into my monthly income strategy using options. The reality is that most traders fail in this business because they get too greedy or too fearful. And a lot of it has to do because they, they are not able to have some sort of steady monthly income. This strategy I have traded for 15 years. It's one of my absolute core strategies. It's extremely high probability. It takes only about one hour of time requirement uh, per week. Uh, we're gonna go through that strategy in great detail. Again, this Wednesday, so tomorrow, June 22nd at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Uh, Pacific. Make sure you sign up. I know for sure that this is going to max out in terms of uh, registration, so make sure you sign up sooner rather than later and I hope you see you there. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram, instagram.com slash study trader and give us some thumbs up on the video as well.